everybody good morning today i'm going to do a homemade chicken pot pie and mind you this is my take on a chicken pot pie there's so many ways you can make it my husband wanted chicken pot pie and that's what i'm doing i'm trying to fix you so we can see the beginning of it i have all the ingredients below and you won't have to worry about keeping up with it in the beginning we got to make us a nice thick gravy that's what's in every chicken pot pie you can use cream of chicken soup, but that's taking a shortcut, and it tastes okay, but I'm going to make a homemade gravy for it. In my skillet, I have maybe four tablespoons of used grease that I keep in a pot in the refrigerator that I clean every time I use and put back. Tied up trash bag, put it in the very bottom. I got it out, and it's some in here. And I usually get, use the grease 10, 12 times because it stay, I, when it cools, we put it in the refrigerator. I got all my stuff here to make the gravy. This is chicken bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, um, a lot of black pepper, and it's flour and all. Excuse me while I step aside. I forgot to put the onion powder and garlic powder in it. Glad I mentioned it. I have all the measurements below. You don't have to worry about keeping up with the thing. And it's going to go really fast because I got everything sitting out. I'm trying to hurry before the flies get to it. <laughs> okay. This might be about ready. I got my I got milk to make it a little creamy. And I got water on standby for whenever I need it. Let's see how that's looking. Yep, there we go. We're on a roll now, people. Want to make sure there's no lumps in your gravy. But you want to brown it so it doesn't taste like flour. And you can brown it as dark as you want. I'm going to do this one pretty dark because he likes it like that. I had not made a pot pie in a while. So he asked me to make a pot pie. And my skillet is wonky to answer people's question because it's an expensive skillet. And I use it just whatever because I bought it to only use with my non-stick tools, but I dropped it and now it's wonky, so I just use it for a gravy skillet. Not a big deal. And I have another one up there I use just for eggs and all that I use my non-stick stuff in. See, it's looking good already. Alright, because this is going to go fast. Let's add a little milk to you. Don't want it overly creamy. There we go. There we go. We're ready for our water. And you want it to be kind of thick because remember, I mean, thin. It's going to go in the oven, so don't get crazy and make it too thick. Been having back trouble and leg trouble. If you see me moving around, it's just because I'm trying to keep my leg and my back from hurting. I'm gonna put my milk in the refrigerator. I don't want it to sour. <sighs> my husband asked me yesterday to make a homemade pot pie for him. I told him I would today. See, we're just about where we want to be. Let's see how it tastes. Perfect. Doesn't need nothing. Not a single thing. Now, I, I got um, a can of mixed vegetables over here and a can of peas and carrots because he likes a lot of vegetables. And I got um, a cup and a half of chicken breast. And that's what we're going to use. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn this off. I'll get you and bring you over here. Hold on. Let me get this in my bowl so I can get this in my sink. Looking good. Looks good. Alright, let's get you in the sink so I can wash you shortly. Alright, I'm going to move you with me if I don't drop you. Try to put you up high on the, the thing so you can look down. Let's see if that works. I think you might be able to see me. Okay, now, 
my spoon and I left it in the skillet. See my gravy turned out, it's, it's not too thick and it's not too, and it tastes perfect. Here's my cup and a half chicken and there's a little stock in it, but I'm gonna drain some of that stock off. I don't want too much. I'm gonna leave just enough to make it moist. I'm gonna add that in there. This is the canned goods I told you, it'll all be in the bottom. Alright. And the reason I'm tasting with a spoon, because he's going to eat the whole thing by himself. Nobody else to eat any. I reserved all my juice just in case I need some, but if I don't need any, I will give it to the chickens or the dogs or something. Now, can you see how the consistency of that is? Okay, now we're going to sit you to the side. And we may not even be able to use all of that. Jesus, my skillet fell, scared me. I used cheapest pie crust I could find. Noyer's chicken broth, salt and pepper. I accidentally threw the cans in the trash and was not going to go fish them out because I'm trying to get through so I can sit down. My pie crust was in the refrigerator, and you want to be very careful with them. They are delicate, okay? And it's just a, a great thing. And if it tears, don't worry about it. You can fix it. See? Tore. Don't worry about it. Just keep unrolling. I've already buttered this iron skillet, so it is buttered. And you want to try to put it in the middle and mash the little tour places together. See, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Good food usually isn't perfect. If it's too perfect, it's not that good. It's the way I feel about it. Could be just me. But... Now, do you see? I got that and it's not all the way in there, but we're going to make a top for it too. Okay. Yeah, see, we're not going to get all, all this in here. I want to get most of the chicken. There's actually enough to make two if I wanted to. But I can freeze it and make another one later. Maybe a little more. Let's see. I'll put it on a pan in case it goes over. It usually don't. Let's see if I can get all that chicken out of there. Here we go. Looks pretty. Now, and I got my oven preheated to 350 and it's been preheated for a minute. Uh -oh. and there again, if it tears, do not worry about it. It's not a big deal. And I assure you, it won't be a big deal to him when he eats it tonight. Now, you want to sort of fold this inside the skillet since it's bigger than the skillet. You see how I'm doing that? Because the other one wasn't big enough to overlap it. So we're going to do like an inside pie, if that makes any sense. And we're going to cut vent holes in it so it won't boil over. It's got a few holes in it, but we're going to cut a few more. And we'll put it on a pan just in case it does boil over. Now, we'll take a knife, and we're just going to do some vent holes in it so it can vent while it browns. And it's just that easy to make a homemade pot pie from scratch. Alright, now this is going to go in a 350 oven until it browns just like you would cook a store-bought pot pie. And I didn't have that much scraps left, so I'll probably give it to the dogs. They'll love it. All right, y'all. Thank you. Hope this helps. Bye.